You go into the store to return one thing, you start looking around, you leave with a bag. Is it just me or does that happen to y'all too? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So it is January 2020. This probably isn't going to go up till February. Actually, yeah, because today's like the 29th or 30th. So yeah, we'll just call it February. And I'm filming my first haul from this year today. And it is some stuff that I picked up from Ulta. I'm always stalking the sale items because I don't like paying full price for makeup. We know that. I talk about it a lot. So the products that I have to show you are all stuff that I picked up on sale during random sales or just stuff that they're trying to get rid of. I have no idea, but now it's mine. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do a lot of makeup, a lot of shopping, and I also do hair and nails. So a lot of beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in as well. I won't keep you guys waiting any longer. If you want to see what I picked up from my most recent, kind of recent, Ulta haul, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So I have a bag that I actually picked up yesterday because I had a coupon and I also have, don't spell, this box. It's kind of big. So I hope this won't be too long, but I'm going to jump right in. The first thing is not in the box because it's too big. I might have picked this up from Amazon, but I'm going to throw this in here because I have some other hair products. This is the Chi Spin and Curl Ceramic Rotating Curler. You guys know I have kind of been into hair products lately. I've been buying different stuff. And I picked this up because I want to do a comparison between this and I think it's the Revlon. I don't know. Yeah, it's in my hair stuff over there. But there's a Revlon curler that also does the same thing. And it's a lot cheaper than this one. So I wanted to compare them to see if the cheaper version, the Revlon version, worked as well as this one. I am always looking for ways to be able to curl my wigs that will make it easier. My hair curls pretty easy, but I could still use this on my hair too. But honestly, this is mainly for my wigs. So I will keep you guys updated. I will have a video comparing this to the Revlon curler coming soon. We'll go ahead and start with the box. And I didn't even take the stuff out the bag. So we'll just go through it. This is the LA Girl Fiber Lash Mascara. I was just curious about this because it was something new. I like mascaras that make my lashes look longer and they need to look fuller. So if it had fibers, then I figured this would be good. It says volume boosting, extends lashes, and it's water resistant. And it has a silicone brush. I do like a silicone brush. I love the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Y'all know that's one of my drugstore favorites. So I don't know how this is going to be. I don't want to open it just yet, but I will put this in a drugstore video for you guys to see how it works. Next, I picked up these Patchology Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels. This was during their skincare 21 Days of Beauty, I think. So this might be, this might have been sitting for a little while. These are basically eye gels that you can put to help with i think it said depuffing i'm pretty sure that's why i picked it up oh lord all these different languages yes puffiness fatigue and dryness so it says apply take five and relax i've never used eye patches and i always kind of feel like this area sometimes can either look really hollow if i'm dehydrated or really puffy if i'm bloated so i wanted to see how those would work Next, I picked up some lashes. These are the Eyelore London Wild and Wispies in Savage. It says that they are full and wispy. And yes, girl, these are some long, big lashes. I ordered these online and they always look smaller <laughs> online than when they come in. I am so proud of myself. The ones I have on today are pretty big, but the band was super flexible and they were so easy to put on and I'm kind of loving it. So this gives me hope for these because, well, 
This band is not clear, but you know what? I'm gonna trust myself. I feel like I'm getting better with them. So these actually say like right and left on them, which I don't think lashes normally do. So I don't know, they're big, but I think they will be very pretty if I can get them on. Next, I picked up a body product. This is the Tea Tree Bear Hair Minimizing Body Butter. Honestly, I picked this up because I do get laser hair removal mainly on the back of my legs because I do have KP on the back of my legs for whatever reason. I've always had that. So no matter what I use to shave or exfoliate, it always feels, it doesn't feel that smooth to me. So I started doing laser. And so I feel like if I'm gonna spend my money doing laser, then I wanna try to find products that'll help minimize the hair growing back, even though that's what laser does too. So this is the Coconut and Lime Hair Minimizing Body Butter. It says it helps keep skin smooth between shaves. So I thought this would be good to try to see how it works. I have another pair of lashes. This is also by Eyelore London, and this is the Lux Cashmere Lashes. Y'all know I just decluttered a bunch of lashes, and now I'm buying a bunch of lashes. Yeah, these are also pretty big but they are not as thick as the other ones. They're long, but they're not thick. And I think that is what I like. Like these are long, but they're not thick. So I think, I'm sorry, I'm having shadows. Um, these are pretty long, but they're not thick. And I think that's why I felt like they look good and they were easy to put on. So hopefully these will be just as good, but it says that you can get 15 wears out of these and they both come, they both came with their own lash glue. Next, I picked up the Kapari Starry Eye Balm. I've used this before. I went through a whole container of it. And I remember thinking like, mm, I don't know what the big deal is about this. I don't know how I feel about it. But now that I've started paying more attention to how products are making my skin look and I have different stuff to reference it to, I wanted to try this because it says it's a hydrating coconut eye balm that delivers a dose of caffeine to depuff and eliminate and then plump. So depuff, but then illuminate, which I like because I tend to use a lot of setting powder under my eyes to help with the hollows and to make it look smooth. So I need to have something very hydrating so that it doesn't look crepey. I also picked this up because I can't get the Becca under eye primer anymore, the green one. I love that when it's cooling. I feel like it kind of helps to depuff, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find that again. So I was hoping maybe this could be a replacement for it. I also picked up another Kapari Tropical Glow Cleanser. This was in my favorites last year. I love how this smells. I love using this first thing in the morning. It says it's to cleanse and to brighten and it has pineapple and papaya enzymes plus coconut water. This feels so good. I used a whole tube of it, and when I saw it on sale, I thought it was a good time to pick up another one. This next product is a brand that I hadn't heard of before. It's COSRX or COSRX. I guess, I don't know if that's like an acronym or that's the name of it, but this is the AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner. I picked this up because it says that it helps to ref refresh, soothe, and soften the skin. I do have occasional issues with texture just in this area here, and I don't know if it's because somebody doesn't clean their brushes enough or what. I've also been having issues with texture here. I will admit that for a while I stopped wearing masks as much, and now with COVID ramping back up, I'm wearing my mask more, and I think that may have to do with it. But I just, anything that can help smooth and brighten and all that stuff, I'm always open to try it. So this was on sale as well. This next product, I hadn't seen this before. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base instead of the face base. I love the face base and that came in clutch for me when my skin was dry. And so this, I kind of figured would be great for an under eye primer, but also to hydrate. And it says it moisturizes, smooths, primes, and hydrates. I do believe, yeah, it says apply a small amount to the under eye area twice a day. Wait until fully absorbed before applying your concealer. So love that it tells you exactly how to use it. Makes it a lot easier. The thing that made me attracted to pick this up the most was that it says that it has a bunch of vitamins, of course, like the face base, 
but it also says hydrates and awakens the under eye and makes for a smooth concealer application. So if you've had issues with your concealer, maybe creasing or looking crepey and dry, you may want to try this out. That's what I picked it up for. Another body product that I picked up, this is the Tree Hut Bear Moroccan Rose Post Shave Soothing Mist. It says helps to relieve itchy skin and prevent ingrown hairs. Now, I also have done laser treatments on my underarm and if I don't go back whenever I'm supposed to, like if I wait too long and I go back to shave, sometimes it'll feel a little itchy, it'll feel irritated. So products like this, I always want to try because nobody wants to feel itchy and have ingrown hairs especially. So I wanted to try this mainly for my underarms and also for my bikini area. We have another body product and I guess this brand was having a sale. I'm not sure. I mean, obviously they were because I picked it up, but I picked up a few products from Tree Hut. This is the Hydrating Sugar Face Scrub. It says watermelon, cactus water, and AHAs. I don't normally use a like super, what's the word I'm looking for? Like abrasive, abrasive. I don't normally use a super abrasive face scrub, but again, because I've been feeling like I'm having issues with texture and like my nose pores are starting to get clogged, which I hadn't had before, I don't know what's going on. I'm about to be 40, maybe my body's about to freak out again because that happened when I turned 30. My body went nuts, I had really bad acne, and so I'm kind of preparing myself for the next decade or so. So I just wanted to try this out. I love watermelon stuff, and so I was just like, let's see how this goes. I'm just pulling stuff random, so now we're moving to nails for a second. This is the Glamnetic 2.0 Reusable Press-On Nails. Y'all know I love press-ons. I have a pair on right now. These are static nails, which I also picked up from Ulta. These are actually in the bag, but I put them on last night. These are super cute because they are kind of like a French tip, but the tip is like a holographic kind of blue-green. I hope you guys can see that chrome. So I thought these were super cute, but I've never tried this brand and they had really good reviews. The only thing I'm, cause I don't understand how they say you can reuse these. Like once they pop off and they have glue stuck underneath them, how do you get that off to reuse it? I have no idea, but I'm gonna try these out. I think it's a cute color. It's a pink that goes to a lilac. Super cute, super feminine, and it's kinda, it's the coffin style. I am gonna have to cut these, but might leave them long for like a day or two. I picked up a skincare product from Tula. This is their filter primer. I have a small one of this. I love it. It is actually in my travel bag, and when I saw this one was on sale, I went ahead and picked it up. I know I don't need any more primers, but I mean, the, we love hauls, we love makeup collections, we love having new things. So I wanted to go ahead and pick this one up. The difference in this, and I don't know if my other one did not come with options because it was just, I hope it's the same thing. This one actually is tinted. It's in Magic Hour and it says it's for medium to deep skin tones. So I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, it has a pump like the other one and everything, but the other one was just clear. So it comes with a little pump on it. No, this looks the same. So it's just white, which is how the other one looked. Well, I don't know the difference then. But as you can see, it gives a little glow. Doesn't really have a smell. Does this have a tint? Let me see. When I wipe my fingers on this piece of paper, there's a little bit of tint to it. And my other one did not have that. So, hmm, that's interesting. This might... It doesn't glow enough to be compared to like the Charlotte Tilbury or any of those, but it still could give a nice glow underneath your foundation or you can wear it by itself. Apparently, I went on a little Tula splurge because I also picked up their Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm. We're noticing a trend here. I guess I just, I feel like I notice, and you know we're our worst critics, I feel like I noticed my under eyes have been super dark lately and I'm sleeping better, but I literally have to take a sleep aid every night. My brain just never shuts off. I'm about to compete again and just a lot of life stuff. So I wanted to try this out. Anything that says cooling, brightening, depuffing, 
any of that stuff, I want to try it. It says provides a lit from within glow while hydrating, cooling, plus helping to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes. Apply under or over makeup or reapply throughout the day for an instant refreshing pick me up. Over makeup? I'm going to try this out after <laughs> this video because I don't want to mess up my makeup but I will put a comment in the description box to let you guys know how that worked because that is very interesting. Next, I picked up, I don't remember picking this up. This is the hashtag my identity, the guy gang, my hair lube. This is a finishing hair lubricant. It looks like the Garnier Fructis smoothing serum. I don't remember buying this. I want to see how, oh, it's a little, it feels like it's thick. Oh, it smells good. It feels really light. I really don't remember buying this, but I guess I did. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, it's really lightweight and I like how it smells. I just don't remember buying this. Yeah, I guess I did. It's on my <laughs> it's on my receipt. I don't know. I don't remember buying it, but it'll get used. And then I actually picked up two of the Tula brightening sticks. So I have both of those. The next thing I picked up is another, I believe it's the same type of product, hair product. This is the Paul Mitchell Gloss Drops. This says it provides a frizz free polish and a brilliant shine. I picked this up because I feel like when I curl my hair, my curls don't last. And then when I try to put products in my hair to help my curls, and then I go outside, they just fall. So this will help with shine, and then hopefully also help keep my curls because it protects against humidity. Hoping this will also work with my wigs. I have another Tula product. This is the, I think this, I don't think I paid for this. This might've been a free gift. This is the Brightening Treatment Drops. This is a triple vitamin C serum. And it says, brighten dull skin, even tone, and help reduce the look of dark spots. Apply two to three drops and massage into clean, dry skin. Use twice a day. Thank you, need it, will be using it. Next product is this Lanza Keratin Healing Oil. I do remember buying this one. I did not think this bottle was gonna be this big. This is a non-drying hairspray that delivers long-lasting, flexible support that fights frizz and humidity. Leaves hair touchable with a brilliant shine. It says a hold of 9 of 10. It's a firm hold, but it's still touchable? Hmm, let's see. Okay, yes, it holds. Smells very much so like hairspray but my hair don't feel crunchy. Like usually I can spray a tiny bit of hairspray and my hair will feel crunchy and not move. See, like you see, if it stays like that, that's some hold. But yeah, it doesn't feel hard. Okay. This I might use for wigs, but I will definitely use on my hair. This was a free gift for all the Tula stuff that I bought and I was super excited about this. Who doesn't love a free gift? This is the Kapari Pink Souffle Body Mask. Detoxify, clarify, and brighten. Really small sample, so I'm not gonna put this all over my body, but honestly, I will probably use this. It says leave on for 10 minutes, rinse and glow. I'll probably use this on the back of my legs because that's a trouble spot. I also got the Kopari Coconut Milk, which I did have a big, I still have a little bit left, a big one of these. I use this if I'm massaging areas that are really sore after my workouts or on my feet. So great to have a backup of this. It also came with the Tropical Glow Cleanser, which I will put this in my travel bag. And then the last product in it is the Hydrating Body Wash. And if this smells... It says coconut. So I'm gonna put this, oh, am I gonna put this? I might put it in my travel bag since it's small enough. And then the last thing I thought was super cute, the order came with this cute little headband, which I don't have any of these. So this will be great to wear at night when I'm washing my face. I normally do it in the shower, but when I'm at the sink, I make a mess. So thought this would be cute. The next products are all products that I picked up yesterday when I went into the store 
You go into the store to return one thing, you start looking around, you leave with a bag. Is it just me or does that happen to y'all too? So I picked up two shades of the Juvia's Place I sculpt eye shade brow pin. I picked up dark brown and I think the other shade is chocolate. I wanted to see how these compare to my other brow pins that I love and my other ones are really dark. So I picked up the dark brown, which is what I normally use, but I also picked up the chocolate because the other ones are really dark and I wanted to see how this would look. Actually, I'm going to open the chocolate because my only concern is I don't want them to look red. And so let's see. Yeah, that's pretty light. I don't know what that's going to do with my brows. I'm probably going to bring that one back. I'm going to try it, but this is probably going to go back because that is way too light. Or I might just exchange it. Let me look at the dark brown now while we're looking at them. Yeah, that is a lot better. Definitely more my shade. So I'll probably bring the other one back and just exchange it because I love using these on days when I want to do a more natural brow and I can go through these pretty quick. I picked up two sets of the Dashing Diva Gloss Ultra Shine Gel Nail Strips. These, I couldn't pick which color. One is green, one is blue. This is literally the color of my car and I think the designs in it is so cute. So I thought these would be perfect. I like using these. I've tried this brand before and I felt like they didn't last that long, but I'm gonna try it again. I've gotten better using nail strips and I like putting the gel clear top coat and then putting them under the UV light. It helps my nails to feel a little harder. It helps it last longer. So I thought I would give this brand a shot again. The green ones also kind of have that marble effect on some of the accent nails, but I thought it was a gorgeous color for winter moving into the spring. This is the box for the nails that I have on right now. Let me see if I can show y'all better with this. I don't know if these have a name. These say hollow French black. And I normally don't do rounded nails, but I really just like the design of these. So hopefully this will focus. There it goes. I hope you guys can see what that looks like, but I just thought the tips were really pretty and it kind of gives a natural look with a little pop of color. So super cute. I picked up another brow product. This is the Maybelline New York this is their Tattoo Studio Brow Lift Stick. I had not seen this before and I don't think I've heard anybody talk about it, but this says that it has, it's for all day wear and it is, it says easily shapes brows into naturally lifted sculpted look. Yeah, it has a sculpting wax and then it has a pencil. Is it a pencil or a sponge? Okay, I'm just going to open it because I'm trying to read it and I can't tell. So we're going to figure this out together. This is definitely something I'll be using soon because I'm curious to see how it works. Huh. I know the lights are probably going to make this look weird, but this is the packaging here. So it comes with this little, it's like a plastic kind of bristle situation here. A <laughs> situation that I could see how that would help brush them up, but then what else? Okay, so it's a brown wax stick. And this is very big, so I'm curious how this would work. I can't see how this would work with somebody who doesn't have a lot of brow hair, but I do, so maybe it'll help just kind of give that more bushy look. I've never tried laminated, I've never tried really putting a brow wax or like the Anastasia brow freeze. I want to, and I know e.l.f. now has a dupe of that, so I wanna try it, but I just picked this one up because I thought it looked interesting. We have a few more products left. One more body care product. This is the Gigi No Bump Shave Gel. Y'all, I'm trying everything. Since I've moved, I have not found a place to go do my laser treatment, so I am just trying to figure out what I can do for my legs and also my underarms until I find a place. This is supposed to help basically give you a closer shave and not leave razor bumps. So I will let you guys know how this works. Y'all let me know if y'all have any products that you use that maybe help. I have the KP Bump Eraser. I haven't used it yet. I need to, but I have some other body scrubs that I need to finish. But let me know some products that you use. If you have KP 
or areas that you may have had rough skin that worked for you. I'm willing to try anything. Another drugstore item I picked up, this is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Concealer. Honestly, I was checking out and I saw it and I was like, ooh, that's new. And I don't have, do I have a Maybelline concealer? I don't think I do. I mainly use the e.l.f. one, but I'm trying to expand my drugstore collection a little bit so I can have more to show you guys. So this one is in the shade 45. The shades were, I feel like, no, I guess this isn't gonna be too dark. Uh, that, the shade before this one was really, really light. This will probably be one that I wear like not for glam looks, but more every day, which I'm okay with because I have a lot of concealers that are way too light. So I will be trying this one out for more of a want to look refreshed. And the fact that it says that it stays that long, I believe I saw, there's no box or anything, but I think I saw the claim said that it was hydrating, even though it's super stay active wear, but we will see how this works. If it's going to dry my under eyes out and have them looking crazy. Three more products and they all kind of go together. I bought some more stuff for my nails. My natural nails have been growing. I'm super excited about that. And I think it's because I've been alternating between using press-ons that I glue. Some have the glue tabs, which last about the same amount of time on me. But then I've also been doing my gel strips with the gel on top and using the UV light. When I don't pull them off like you're not supposed to, it doesn't mess up my nails. So they've been growing. I'm happy about that. So I decided to go ahead and pick up a full set. So I picked up the Sally Hansen Salon Gel Polish Manicure Kit. This one comes with this color, which eh, I might wear that. That's not a bad color, but it comes with the UV light, which I have one already, but whatever. And then it also comes with the gel base coat, the gel nail color and the top coat. It comes with 10 nail cleanser pads and an acetone remover. And then it also comes with a cuticle stick, a file, and a buffer. I do have my Madam Glam set. I still use that. That's what I've been using. It came with a UV light as well. And then I have a bunch of colors from them. So I think I was mainly concerned about getting another UV light because that one works well. But just if it runs out, it's really small. And I wanted to see if they all kind of work the same. And then I picked up another color. This is just a gel nail color in Perplexed. This is a super pretty lavender purple. The color of the box is the color of the polish. And I feel like my lights are probably washing that out. But this has become another shade of purple that I've been enjoying, surprisingly. And then I picked up another gel top coat because like I said, I use this on top of regular polish and gel strips. So that is it for my haul. I hope this wasn't too long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I said I was gonna stop shopping, but let's be real. Unless there is a crisis, I don't know that that's gonna happen. I love makeup, I love shopping, and most of all, I love getting stuff on sale. So the hair stuff, I'll keep y'all updated. The nail stuff as well. The makeup stuff, you will see in a video. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you're new, I hope you hit that subscribe button and join the family. If you enjoy watching hauls and love makeup content, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.